we have two more very special awards. So to help me introduce these uh, special awards, I'd like to invite back up to the stage the head of Europri, Professor Peter Brook. Come up here, Peter. Thank you very much, Adam. The grand jury has selected two people to add to this reflection. One of it is uh, Susan Hassan from Israel, and the other one is Frank Kappe from Austria. Frank, can you come up here? Frank, you have an endowed chair here at the Technical University in Graz, uh, and uh, that endowed chair is in terms of uh, new media technologies. When you think back and now reflect on what you have seen tonight here, what do you think are the trends in terms of technology and business which one can basically gather from those projects which won tonight? Um, we also debated in the jury for quite some time whether or not it should be a criterion if the entries have a good potential to become a business or if they really are riding on technological trends. And we said economical viability or technological viability was specifically not a criterion. It was just more about ideas and not whether it's a finished product or whether it has a business plan behind it or whatever. Susan, in terms of aesthetics and creativity, what Frank was talking about, what do you see as the overall trends from what you have looked at during the grand jury? Um, after looking at the works for three days, um, some of these masterpieces, I think, of fine art and fine works and, and fine craftsmanship um, come to mind. And I really congratulate all your prize winners on your success, and, but also the nominees for getting this far, because this is a fantastic recognition of your creativity. Okay, the jury um, decided to give a special award. It's the first time in 10 years of history and it's a special award for social consciousness. And uh, what's the reason for that? Do you remember? Yeah, we argued <laughs> quite viciously over this, actually. Um, we weren't too sure at the time whether we wanted to actually recognize the content because we were looking at the aesthetics and the innovation um, and the interaction and the quality of the animation. But then, of course, the message was, was just as important. And we argued, do we have to stand behind this message, politically or not? And then we all thought, well, actually, we're giving the prize the recognition for the quality of the work, but we do actually agree with the political message. So, yes, that was quite easy to do. So let's have on the stage David Scharf and Johannes Berner, the Big Brother State. <laughs> David, recall for us, uh, what's the message of the Big Brother State? Well, basically, um, it's about the uh, modern states invading the privacy of their citizens um, against their will. What's the basic message? Oh, it's, it's uh, against this, uh, what the governments do. What do you see as the specific uh, issues there? Uh, I'd say things like they are starting to read my emails without telling me about it. And uh, Wolfgang Schäuble, our German um, Minister of Inner Affairs, um, has decided to push it, uh, to knock it up a notch and to start scanning emails and invading um, computers that are usually uh, standing at home. Uh, and uh, I don't agree with this policy. And I don't agree with uh, the American government, for example, taking my fingerprints even if I don't enter the country, only if I fly to America and go on to Cuba. Or Oh, yes, okay, Cuba, but uh, to South Southern, Southern America or something like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you very much, David Charles. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Let's give a special thanks to Susan Hassan and Frank Cape and all the grand jurors. <laughs>